hello everybody welcome back to destiny's beauty it's destiny lancaster welcome back to my channel guys this is going to be part one of how to start a hair business um i've been wanting to do this video for so long but um i don't know i just never never really did it um but i'm super super excited um my i've had a business for about I want to say like four years since I was like 21 because uh, before I went before I moved to Atlanta I had a hair business and I started off very 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 blindly I just kind of like jumped into it because I just wanted to sell hair you know I wanted to just you know I love to see women look and feel beautiful I was also doing hair as well so I said you know what since I'm doing care I might as well just sell it and can I tell you guys I went through so many vendors um excuse the shadow in the background I'm actually on my iPhone 13 right now so I'm kind of just getting used to trying to record on here as well as record on my um, camera you know I'm not trying to uh, always be on my camera I want to record my phone too you know but anyways um when I first started my hair business uh, I did research because I'm the type to just like do so much research and I wanted to do everything by myself my own website uh, finding a vendor um, which was honestly guys finding a vendor is can I say this can I say this finding a vendor is easy easy peasy it's not hard it's easy trust me um if you listen to me i know you guys watch so many videos on here but i feel like a lot of the videos um miss something that's very 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 easy um and they told you to go on certain websites when you don't even got to do all that honey you don't got to do all that but just watch and i wanted i want to show you guys a box this is not even half i'm not even going to show the brand this is not even half of the bundles that i tested out for myself but um let's just rewind rewind by the way that's my um uh that's my calendar right there um i want to uh show you guys well not yet not yet not yet um i do do a lot of planning but i'm not going to show you guys that but when i first got started off my hair business i actually spoke to someone um, that I'm close with I was talking to them about a business name and everything like that and um, you know I just came up with the name the first name I had was diverse beauty and uh, diverse really just means that my brand was for everybody you know I was like you know I want I don't want to just um, um, target african-american women but I want to target um, Caucasians Indian everybody can get um hair for my brand you know so that was really my mindset when i first started my business of is what i wanted my name to mean and um after a while i started to say like i really don't like the name you know when you're first going to start your hair business trust me you are going to change the name of your business because i did so many times and um, I said, you know, I don't like this name no more. Um, I probably like after a year, I changed the name. I made literally my logo, everything, and I changed that. I changed it to my name, Destiny's Beauty Shop. And I said, I don't like this name. <laughs> you know, I really don't like this name. It's just like, I don't want things to be geared around me. So switched it after five years of having my business after closing my business so many times after rebranding like so many times i closed my business and honestly it wasn't just the name it was the vendors that i chose um i would send my hair out to certain instagram models or certain people that are close to me and you know they'd be they'd be honest with me i like this hair i don't like this hair this hair sheds this hair doesn't shed and the problem is when we first start a business we think about what we like what we like no you have to literally send your product to other people and if you have to see if they like it if they tell you that they like it try keep trying the hair keep trying whatever product it is but in this video i'm talking about hair um keep trying the hair you know what i'm saying because the more um the the, the better feedback you get on a hair vendor then that's how you know okay you know I think this vendor is a good vendor and sometimes 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 
uh, vendors can be very, very popular and a lot of people can order from them. And I don't want to say you want to go with that vendor. You don't, I don't, I don't want to tell you that because if you want to go with a popular vendor, be my guest. But I just want to say this. Sometimes when you choose a popular, popular vendor, sometimes they, it's like their hair quality is a hit or miss. And, um, it's kind of annoying because it's like you just want the best hair but let me just be honest no hair is like the best hair okay hair is gonna have a little you know what i'm saying it's gonna be like okay you know one thing i can say about this hair is that it's thicker than that hair one thing i can say about this hair is that it's more silkier it's always gonna be something all right but um one thing that you can do when you first get started is start testing out vendors that's something before you even start your business, okay? Test out vendors before you start your business because if you just start your business, right? You LLC it. Um, this video is not about LLC and S Corp and all that. I'm gonna put that in a separate video because that's like its own separate topic. But say you register your business, right? And you get hair and it's not really uh, holding up to your standards, right? A customer buys $600 worth of hair from you and it's shedding, it's matting, it's doing all the above, right? And um, say for instance, you know, you're a small business and you, you don't wanna give no refunds or nothing like that. So what are they gonna do? They are going to uh, uh, file a dispute against you and you're gonna have to pay that $600 that you don't even have. So the best thing to do is to be patient and test out vendors. Um, that's what the main point of this video is about is to test out vendors before you start your business I know in the beginning I said um, it's gonna be about how to start a business but the very first step that you should do is test out vendors and let me tell you guys these vendors these vendors are getting very 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 uh, slick okay they're getting very slick because they'll send you good hair the first batch but the second time it's not going to be good so you have to keep testing out a vendor see if their one communication is good see how fast they respond so communication is one and how fast and quickly they respond and how quick is shipping okay so i know it's not easy to try to find a vendor that's you know uh fits all your requirements but at least have a f most box checked off that you want in a vendor so i'm not going to talk about my vendor because i have a, a hair business right now but i will say that i switched my vendor like a few times and i tested out the hair from other vendors and what i noticed is that it's not as good as the quality from the vendor that i have right now you know, I tested it out. I tested to see, this is actually the hair I have in my hair right now. Um, I tested it out and I compared it to the other bundles that I got. And by the way, guys, I always told vendors, I want your raw quality hair. You know, the hair that can bleach to 613. Um, I don't want like low quality hair. And when I tell you I went through thousands of dollars, I'm not even exaggerating, I went through thousands of dollars worth buying hair. And this is some of it right here. This is some of it. Now, this, these vendors might be okay for you guys, but it's not okay for me. I'm not gonna expose the vendors. That's not what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna expose them because, you know, some people are literally buying from them. Um, yeah i'm not gonna do that okay so this is from one vendor right i told them to send me their raw hair and let's see okay all right this is from one vendor so i told them to send me straight and body wave right so that's what you always do tell them to send you straight and body wave and you want to bleach test the hair guys by the way i kept this bleach on my hair for like 10 minutes and it bleached i didn't want it to be super 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 light i kept this little strand of hair on for like 30 minutes and look at the color you know what i mean and look at the ends for this 12 inch straight it just it's not doing it you know what i mean i'm not gonna expose this vendor because that's not what i am I, i'm not about that but if you are interested and any of these uh, vendors and any of these bundles that I that I um, that I'm gonna show you guys, email me. My email will be below, and I will you know I will let you guys know. Just email me. 
So this is the body wave, right? I was very disappointed when I got this hair because I told the vendor, I literally said to send me your best hair, you know, and this is not acceptable at all. Like, and it's stiff. It's very, very stiff. So I said, no, no, this is not Miss Pretty Hair. Absolutely not. No. Then I tested out this other this other vendor right now i'm not gonna lie this hair is very soft if you're just starting out i've never seen this vendor on instagram this vendor is not on instagram i actually found this vendor on alibaba um i found this vendor on alibaba and um, I know this video is long, but I'm definitely going to get into how to find vendors, easy ways to find vendors, how to see if the hair is, is good quality from the picture. Because um, this hair looked really, really nice in videos, right? It's really soft. Look at it. It's really, really soft. Um, but can you see the filler? That's called a filler, guys. Those gray pieces, it's called fillers. So... And then this is a 12 inch. It's not thick enough for me. It's not thick enough. Just my opinion, you know. Now this hair may be good for you if you're just starting off. Um, and also the price of this hair is not that bad neither. But compared to my other vendor, I'm telling you, always have a vendor to where you say, okay, I'm, I don't know if this hair is too expensive. It may compare hairs guys that's like something that's very very important for you to do when you start in hair business you have to compare hairs and compare um how soft it is and communication with your vendor so once again this hair is definitely very very soft um it's, it's silky but it's just not thick enough for me and the first thing i seen was a filler you know and i was like mm, nah i can't you know not for my not for my hair business but the communication with this vendor was really really good so if you guys are interested in this just hit my um email to one i'm gonna take these now i'm gonna keep these on this is a this this right here is a known vendor on instagram and uh i'm pretty sure um a lot of girls know this vendor if, if if you're watching this you see the purple tags i'm pretty sure you know this vendor i just it's not silky honey like it's not silky for me and it looks like like it looks kind of stiff is it just me or does this look stiff because it looks stiff and and look, you guys can tell. And I told, I specifically told this vendor, send me your best quality hair. And he said, no, okay, honey, I got you. No worry. I send you the best hair. That's what they always say. <laughs> I send you the best hair. That's what they always say. And I got this and I was like, oh my gosh, like, no. <sighs> look at this compared to this hair. I don't know if you guys can see the difference but this hair is a little bit more brown so by the way if you guys don't know about um hair about virgin hair raw hair everything is all just kind of made up in my opinion but raw hair if you raw hair is basically indian hair um cambodian hair but when it comes to brazilian hair raw hair is hair that can dye to a 613 and it's like a light brown color and it's only steam processed okay so look at this hair compared to this hair this hair is full of luster this hair is not it doesn't it's not not doing it for me out of all those vendors this vendor was the best one the only thing i said i said was that the ends isn't thick enough for me and for at least for it to be a 12 inch you know what i'm saying because i'm when you're ordering samples from vendors and you get a 12 inch 
a 12 inch is like supposed to be the thickest the thickest um length you know what i'm saying so if you see a 12 inch and you're noticing that it's not as thick how thin do you think the 30 inch is going to be you know what i mean so it's just that it i don't know if it was just this bundle but it's just the fillers you know it's not i don't know if you guys can really see it yeah you guys definitely could see it you know i said nah it's not doing it now I know that can be very, 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 very frustrating. Um, and I'm, hold on, let me show, I'm gonna take this, um, hold on, I'll be right back. This is my vendor. Look at these bundles. <laughs> Look at this. You can clearly see the difference, the shine, the quality, the thickness, and the movement. This is a 12 inch. Look how good those ends is compared to <laughs> compared to this this has more luster and it's way thicker look at that 12 inch look at my 12 inch compared to this like what is that honey <laughs> day and night my hair I, I think the uh my hair starts at like $80 and it goes all the way up to 155 and um the quality is like undeniable you know so when you are starting a hair business you want to have quality hair if you don't have quality hair there's so many hair businesses out here and you know um, it's not just about building your website it's not just about you know having a, 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 a beautiful photo shoot you know and suppose you have a beautiful photo shoot and you know your site is all good everything is all good your prices are good but the hair quality is not good you're not gonna get customers you're not gonna get those high paying customers that's always going to come back and buy you know what i mean um so you know i should do it a part two but i'm just gonna keep this video going um leave please leave me in the comments below if you guys are enjoying this video so now finding a vendor so easy go to instagram literally i wish I, i'm recording from my phone right now but go to instagram right now right type in wholesale uh you could either type in wholesale hair wholesale brazilian hair wholesale hair vendor wholesale virgin hair okay i'm gonna link all the description i'm gonna link everything below wholesale virgin hair wholesale hair wholesale brazilian hair and you will find so many vendors. You do not have to go to Alibaba because a lot of people don't even know how to create an Alibaba account. Go to Instagram. Instagram is the easiest. They will give you their WhatsApp number. Just download WhatsApp and put your number to it and that's how you're gonna contact these vendors. They're gonna give you like a plus one six, I mean a plus eight six number. They're gonna give you something like that and you're gonna message them on WhatsApp. And on Instagram, it's honestly like, Instagram compared to Alibaba, it's like, if if a vendor has an Instagram account, it's like you feel, me personally, I feel like I can trust them more. You know, I see how much followers they have. I see the videos and stuff, and it's easy to get to Instagram. And um, there's so many vendors on there, guys. There's a lot of hidden gems too. Don't look at the followers. Don't look at how many followers they have. But, you know, contact the vendor and, you know, ask to FaceTime them. You know, an easy way to know that something is a scam is if they don't want to FaceTime you. Scam, scam, scam. They don't want to FaceTime you. They don't want to show you real videos, raw videos of the hair. Not stolen videos, but real videos of the hair. You know, ask them, hey, can you can you show me a video of the 12 inch? Can you show me a video of the 18 inch? And can you show me a video of the 30 inch? You know, and trust me, you'll have these vendors out here that won't show you nothing. And you'll be like, okay, on to the next. You know, if you really want to get in this hair business, then you have to do what you have to do. You cannot be lazy. Okay, and Instagram is the easiest way to find a hair vendor, in my opinion. I tried to go on Alibaba. Look, when I went on Alibaba, this is who I found. This is who I found on Alibaba. And the hair, you know, it was, it's not bad, but it's just, it's not this hair. <laughs> it's not this hair. So, 
and I don't want to say that there's not um, known vendors on Alibaba, but I just want to say Alibaba is a hit or miss. All right, let's just be honest. Alibaba is a hit or miss. And actually, I think my vendor is on Alibaba as well, but they're normally on Instagram. But this is uh, part one of, um, I guess, getting started in the hair business, you know, uh, and finding a quality vendor, you know search do your research trust me and a lot of times you have to pray ask god to give you the right vendor because sometimes we just be going into business and this is any business we be going into business uh blinded and we just do it because you can make money you do it because you see other people do it no do something because you know it's your passion and you truly enjoy doing it okay and um again if you guys want to know you know <laughs> what vendors not to buy from um this is definitely still in a bag you know I, I feel bad for doing this but it's just my opinion you know i don't want you to be selling bad hair out here no us but we gotta win us women in general we gotta be winning and we gotta be helping each other putting each other on you know i'm not selfish with letting another female win that's something about me like once you find the vendor that's good for you it may take you a month it may take you two months it may take you a year once you find the vendor that you know you really really like then now it's time to build your prices do your website and all that and that's gonna be in part two of this video this video was just about finding a vendor and yeah um, I hope this video helped somebody if it did please thumbs up this video you know comment something that helped you in this video if, if you already heard my tips if you already heard something that's fine just please thumbs up this video um it's definitely going to help me with the um youtube algorithm you know there's so many videos about hair and hair businesses and stuff and if you guys want to know these vendors email me okay email me because i'm telling you guys the yellow band hair that i that i showed you guys you know and there's actually so many other vendors um, that I tried and you know the hair wasn't that bad there's so many other vendors I'm telling you guys there's about three other vendors that I tried and the hair was not bad at all um, if you guys want my advice if you guys want anything just email me the, below the email will be in the description and I I, I will be gladly to help you guys you know even if you want me to be your wholesale vendor that's gonna be something that I'm introducing to my um hair business as well but just email me one thing i did not say and i know I, i'm going to do a part two this video is all over the place but one thing i did not say is that you have to find your niche you have to find what woman you want to um you want to uh sell to you know it could be college women uh women that are on a budget if you are looking for if you're looking to sell hair or wigs for people that are on a budget your prices have to be you know affordable so it's all about what you're looking for how open your mind is and you know um you could be a type of company that has luxury hair but you also have affordable um bundles and affordable wigs you could be a type of company that just sells all affordable you know you know come to my company get your hair uh on a budget that's fine it's all about who you want to target you cannot target everybody you know i don't know where this came from and you think you could have a business that could target everybody no it's better if you just target an audience and keep targeting that audience and you know your business might be known for having good wigs your business might be known for having good um good bundles but let me tell you guys something you know being an african-american is 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 amazing but it comes with so much because listen and a business that's just growing if you sell bad quality hair you're so many people will bash you and it just it's, it's not a good look it's not a good look so it's best to try to find quality products you know quality things even if it's flat irons you know I, I know vendors for flat irons and everything but you want to have quality products and you definitely can um, go the affordable route and have quality products like let me just show you guys one more time like this hair if you if you have your shop and you're selling this hair I straightened it and everything you know it's not bad you know it's really not bad 
uh, people might complain about the ends. So, you know, but it's not bad starting off with. You want to have quality, okay? Quality above everything. It's not about just getting money. It's about having a business that where you offer quality, okay? All right, so I'm just going to end this video right here. I'm at 27 minutes. If you guys enjoyed it, please comment comment below uh what you would like to see in part two because i'm definitely going to be do part two about um uh starting your website and also pricing your uh products and as well as uh if you should do a photo shoot if you if you shouldn't do a photo shoot how many bundles should you start with that's definitely going to be in part two so yes guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video